As you work in pre-built ML, you have the flexibility of arranging and sizing different components of the program to best fit your workflow and style. This comes in three forms primarily, sizing, arrangement, and creating separate windows. To adjust the size or proportions of an area, simply place your mouse over the divider bar and slide it in the direction that's desired. This is true for both horizontal divider bars as well as vertical bars. In addition to resizing elements, you can also move certain elements to various places to best fit your needs. Anytime you see this icon on a tab in the pre-built ML software, it means it's an element that can be dragged around to different locations. To move a particular element, simply place your mouse on the header of that particular item and click and hold as you drag to a new location. As you drag, you'll notice that there are blue elements that appear around the extents of the window as well as across. You'll notice that as you move your mouse over other elements on the page, the cross stays centered over whichever element you're on top of. By putting your mouse on a portion of the cross, it indicates a preview of where the item you're holding will be placed if you let go at that time. So on the right side, the left side, the top, or the bottom. In this case, we'll take the bookmarks that we've grabbed and we'll drop it to the right of the cross, and now that bookmark appears to the right of the markup items. A final position is the center of the cross. Here we'll grab the bookmark items again and move it over the markup items, and this time we'll place it in the center of the cross, meaning that the bookmarks and the markup items will share the same space. We drop it, and the bookmarks is on top, and notice at the bottom that there are tabs where we can toggle back and forth between viewing one list or the other. In addition to using the cross to position an item in a particular location, you can also use the four blue squares at the extents of the window. These indicate that you will be dragging the item at the far extent of the window itself. So here, the bookmarks would appear to the left of the pages, or here, above the digitizer window. And of course, it's easy to return an item to its original position by simply clicking and grabbing on the header of that particular item and placing it down in its original location using the cross or the extends feature. A final option that's available for arranging items is to take an item completely into a separate window. So here we've clicked and dragged on the bookmark section, and if we drag it outside of the window, you'll notice a light blue box, and if we drop it with that light blue box showing, that item will be dropped into a separate window of its own, which can then be positioned anywhere else on the screen. Additional items can be dragged and dropped into that separate window or into other separate windows of their own. To return a particular element out of a separate window, simply click and grab on the header of that particular item and drag and drop it back into the main window using the cross and extend features. In addition to moving individual elements, you also have the flexibility of moving the entire plan tab as a unit into a separate window. To do this, you would come to the plan tab and note that it has the icon that indicates that it can be dragged to another location and drag it away from the window until the blue box appears and drop it. Now the entire plan tab is in a window of its own and can be placed on a separate monitor or arranged in a different location that best fits your work needs. By leveraging the slide bars, drag panels, and the ability to create separate windows, you can arrange pre-built ML in a way that works best for you.